Hey guys, uh, I've been feeling some uh, emails and some instant messages and some even video responses to the Art of Drawing the Weapon. Uh, now before I start answering those, I'm going to go over first the defensive weapon itself. What makes it different than your standard knife? Okay, first this has the wave technology in it. Okay, so it's, it's a little hook that's built into the blade. Okay, this gives me the ability as I'm drawing the weapon for it to come out. This is not a spring assist as you see. Okay, it's not a spring assist. There's no spring in here at all. Okay, this is designed uh, from I think uh, Crenshaw or it could be Spyderco that has the uh, wave technology. Now I could be wrong, I haven't researched it, but this is the uh, defense weapon that I utilize as I'm carrying an edge weapon. Now, um, yes, there are some guys that I've seen video responses that pull it out and snap it and it's open and it's pretty quick, they're, they're, they're pretty fast. But in my opinion, there's nothing quicker than being able to thumb, thumb your weapon and draw it and it's this fast. I don't have to do anything else other than draw the weapon, okay? Uh, so uh, this is a weapon, defense weapon that I'm showing you. This is a, a demo uh, weapon. Um, that I uh, was able to procure through my wholesaler um, and I will be selling these. Okay, now, that being said, you, people were asking, oh, we can do it and we can uh, draw the weapon and we do it like this. Okay, the problem with drawing your weapon like this, and I'll, I'll show you, is that when you do this and you draw, you have no control of that weapon. I can lose this weapon really easily during a physical altercation, so I don't want to do that. So the course that I've designed, uh, the art of drawing your blade, I designed the course because I haven't seen in my 20 something, 30 something years of being in this industry, I haven't seen anyone actually say, hey, this is, I'm going to show you how to draw your weapon. I'm going to make it a, a course. I design a course. Um, uh, I've always been shown what to do when I have the edge weapon in my hand, but I have a, a simple question. How did it get there? Something had to happen. I didn't just appear with my knife in my hand, right? So I designed this issue-specific course on the art of drawing your weapon. I did this both for uh, edge weapon and uh, a firearm. Now, firearms already have the art of the draw, but I kind of take it a couple steps further, and I'll show you that, okay? Now, um, I'm going to have Sheldon uh, come in here with me and we're going to do a standard hoop drill and those of you that have done the Philippine combat system and some of the other Philippine stuff you guys already uh, already know that okay so the the edge weapon is right here and we're going to do a standard hoop drill now the idea is as I'm doing this is to draw my weapon without hiccuping meaning without going like this and breaking the rhythm of the hoop drill now I can redirect Rechange and have them still do the hoop bud drill. But the idea is that, see how I drew my weapon? Now I didn't deploy it. I'm going to deploy it now. Now my weapon's open and now he's got to deal with it. Okay? Now, on the next set, I'm going to draw it out. I let it open. Okay? As I draw it. Okay? And again, we, it, it takes practice. This is not something you can do in a day. It takes practice. The, the uh, types of um, clothing that you wear does make a difference, okay? Okay, if, if your pants are too tight, then it won't work. Now, as you saw, the weapon's already drawn. Now, I'm going to go slow because sometimes you guys can't catch it, so um, I'm going to go really slow. So I'm here, boom, doing the hoobah drill. Everything's going nice, boom, block pass pin. I'm coming in here, block, draw my weapon, and I'm going right back into the block pass pin. Okay, so as you saw, it's really quick, really fast. And then, of course, you do your cut lines and all that on top of your whatever drill. But the idea is to draw the weapon while you're going and, and keeping busy and draw your weapon at the same time. Now, like I said, I drew, I drew it. Huh, don't ever drop your knife. I drew the weapon. As you notice, I didn't let the weapon deploy because I might want to use a puño or the, the end of the weapon as a, as a blunt instrument to cause uh, pain compliance. I don't have to have the weapon out and do something, okay? That's another fallacy that I see a lot in systems. Draw the weapon and start cutting. Well, maybe you need to, to draw it to utilize it in another fashion, or maybe you were 
worried that you might need to draw it, you've got it in your hand, so if you need to deploy it, you can. Okay? Now, um, now I'm going to do the same thing as you guys saw uh, on some of the earlier videos was the, um, the gun, the art of the draw of the gun. Now, the same thing, we do it through the hoop, but there's three drills that we work on. In the, in the, we do one-for-ones, which is like a, a, a stab, which is something like this. So he's stabbing like he's got a knife, boom, and then I do the same thing, and he checks it. He's going to check it. Okay, this is one for ones, okay? And then we go into the hooba drill, and then we go into the tap drill from the sides. Boom, okay, that's a tap drill, okay? So what we do is we work those three different drills separately, then we put them together, and then we'll either draw the blade or the gun. Now first I'm gonna draw the gun. Now the first thing you wanna pay attention about this is that this is locked. It's not coming out. I gotta depress it, and then it slides out. Now. This is a level two holster, okay? If you have a CHL, you would have a little bit different issue because you have to clear your garment to draw the weapon. And again, in the, in the course that I'm designing, it covers that. And now that's not new. Uh, there, there's programs and courses out there. But again, I do it a little differently because I add something coming at me, not just there's a threat, draw and go. I'm physically doing something with my hands that's not allowing just such an easy draw your weapon. I'm doing something here with my hands. Again, I might be in a physical altercation. Not all the time are we going to have the ability, for example, it's one of the things that I argue a lot about CHL, and he's kind of with there with me on the on the forum sometimes, is that, okay, I have a gun, well, I just get to it. Well, first of all, I'm this close. Uh, so if I throw a punch, you're not just going to grab your weapon. There's, you know, you may have a physical altercation hand in hand before you can draw your weapon. So that's why I designed this. Again, all, uh, what I want to do, and, I, and uh, first I want to do what they call a hiccup. Uh, it's a draw, but it's not a clean draw. Okay? There. See how I drew it? It wasn't clean? Okay. I was still able to kind of finish, but there was a hiccup in there, and then I fed him the, the, uh, the, the impact of the hula drill. Now I'm going to do it without a hiccup, a simple draw, without breaking the rhythm of the hula drill. And, um, and still keep going. Again, I don't have to utilize my weapon as a firearm. I can use as a blunt force weapon, okay? Um, so, okay, you see how quick that was? And that, again, it was a locked position. Now I can come in, do these, and do strikes at the butt of the weapon, the top of the rail of the weapon. I do not have to, you know, use as a firearm, okay? Now, that being said, you're probably saying, well, why are you drawing a weapon? Well, there may be more than one. Maybe they're inside the house. Uh, maybe you're protecting children. Maybe he's he, he's a threat, um, but it's it's not that big a threat yet. Again, in the defensive gun, is you draw your weapon, stop, or I'll shoot, or whatever. This is the same method. I drew my weapon. I can shoot, or I can tag him with the weapon as a blunt force instrument. Now, that being said, I've taken it a step further. Let's say that I am in my, uh, I'm in a firefight. This happens to a lot of law enforcement, and I've been talking to them about uh, fixing or adding this to their repertoire of, um, of uh, drawing their weapon. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to switch. We're going to come around. Okay, let's, I'll set up the scenario. You're in a firefight, boom, 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 boom. They're advancing, you're out. He's coming up, maybe he's got a knife, maybe he does, I don't know, maybe he's empty hand. Now, what do I do? Do I throw this weapon away and engage him in a hand-to-hand -hand altercation? Or do I keep the weapon, use a blunt force weapon, knowing that I have an extra magazine that I can utilize and then get back into the, the game? All right? So again, we're going to do a uh, hula drill. I'm out, keeping my hands busy. I got it. There's a, what we call a long count and a short count. I'm going to show you the long count first. Okay? It's a standard hula drill. So the first one is block. Pass, draw, my, my thing, pin, hit, and now I'm loading up, and then he feeds me, bump, 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 and then I'm good to go. Let the slide drop, and then I'm going. That's the long count, okay? Um, and that's probably what most guys will start off with to, to get the, the feel first. Then there's the short count. The short count goes instead of one, two, three, it's one, three, okay? So what's happening is he's feeding me, boom. Here, and what's happening is one pin, slap, and I'm going, and it's already in. Okay, so I'll do that again. And again, usually, depending if it's a CHL, you have to clear your garment. If you're law enforcement, an open carry, it's much easier to grab your magazine. 
Okay, uh, I don't have a, a, a magazine holder for this particular uh, weapon, so I'm just kind of leaving it like this. But again, uh, it's block pass pin standard. Then here it is, block, grab, pin, boom, and then I'm back in the game. Okay, so that's how, and again, the, the idea of the concept of why we're doing this is that if you're out, Okay, you don't want, as a, as a defensive gun, you don't want to throw that weapon away because someone may pick it up, maybe uh, uh, you'll lose your magazine and now they have the weapon because you decide to throw it away and engage them with it. Okay, so we don't want to do that. If we have the weapon, keep the weapon, use a blunt force instrument, draw your magazine, rack your weapon, boom, and now you're good to go. There's, you know, you don't have to worry about... Um, uh, gee, uh, am I going to lose a weapon, w whatever the case may be uh, on that, but uh, that's the idea is to let the slide lock, slap it in, and you're good to go. Okay, thanks for the videos that you guys uh, put up. Um, I hope this kind of answers your question about why we're doing the art of the draw and all that. And the same thing applies uh, on the floor too. The, the knife program that I designed over what, four years ago? Four years ago, uh, the art of drawing it. Um, the, I haven't seen too many, I haven't seen any other schools, have you? No, I have not. Okay, I've seen a lot of schools that do, do knife fighting and stuff like that, but none that really say, hey, I got just a course, just on drawing your weapon and from different variations. I have it where you open in an open area like this, up against the wall, on the floor, uh, in a ground combatter situation where you're grappling, when you're doing other things where you're utilizing your hands, so stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's a very in-depth course, so I hope you look into it. The DVDs are forthcoming, and they'll be up and listed, okay? Thanks, guys. appreciate it. I want to thank Sheldon for assisting me in this.